HTTP Dynamic Streaming, or HDS, is a relatively new delivery method added to Flash Media Server and Flash Player. It's Adobe's answer to Apple's Adaptive Streaming and Microsoft's Smooth Streaming. It allows you to deliver video and audio over standard HTTP connections rather than Adobe's proprietary RTMP, and it lets you adapt the stream to the appropriate bitrate for the client's connection speed. To deliver video over HDS, it must be formatted in a certain way. The video file needs to be segmented into smaller pieces called fragments. These files will have the extension F4F. A manifest file is also needed. This is a file that contains basic information about the video, the location of each of the fragments, and what order they should be streamed in. Both the F4Fs and the F4M manifest file are created in a process called packaging. A common question I hear about HDS is, if it's streaming over a standard HTTP connection, why do I need a media server at all? Well, that's a good question. Technically, you don't. But FMS has some valuable features that make streaming video over HTTP more efficient, and that now includes real-time packaging of content. You don't need to package your Flash video files for HDS delivery in advance. The same files and streams that you use for RTMP can be packaged in real-time for delivery over HTTP. Let's take a look at this workflow by looking at how a live stream is captured, packaged, and played back with HDS. In this scenario, first a live stream is captured in Flash Media Live Encoder and then sent to the Live Packager service on FMS. And this is a pre-built application that now ships with all editions of FMS. There, the live stream is packaged automatically in real time, creating the fragments and the manifest file. Then, when someone wants to watch this video stream, their video player Swift requests the F4M manifest file. FMS sends it to them. Then, based on the information in the manifest, the Swift then starts asking for F4F video fragments and then starts playing them. On-demand streams are packaged and accessed in the same way, with fragments and a manifest being created and cached when requested. Later in the course, we'll set up both an on-demand stream and a live stream to deliver video over HDS to Flash Player, so you can see this process in action. Okay, so that gives you an overview of the basic workflow for streaming over HDS to Flash Player. Next, let's look at how FMS can now deliver that same stream to Apple iOS using HTTP Live Streaming.